Hi you all. My name is Mary. This reading is for Cancer. How are you all today? Hope everybody's doing great. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. You guys can probably see we have double-sided cards today. Never know what we might get. I want to take them from the bottom in just a minute. If you guys haven't checked it out, you may want to check out my husband's new channel, Zen Den Studios. It's in the description below if you're interested. I think you would enjoy it. All right, let's see what we got, you all. The Fool card. Are you ready to take a new journey? Do something different? Sorry, I gotta get it straight. Page of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Ain't that pretty? Bear with me, you all. I've got to, I should zoom out a little bit. Ace of Cups. Ten of Cups. Ooh. The Hermit. Hangman. Let me bring this down so you guys can see it a little better. Page of Wands on the back side. And Five of Swords on the back side. I hope they're straight, you all. Hope you can see them. I apologize if you can't. Let's take two of these real quick. Mm, nah. I'm not feeling it. There we go. And there's two of them. Communicate clearly. Peaceful resolution. There's going to be, oops, there's going to be a peaceful resolution if you communicate clearly. Give me just a minute, okay? Well, I gotta be honest with you, you all. Whenever I see this right here, <laughs> it could be about taking a leap of faith in a new relationship. Um, this is about love. This is about families, marriages, relationships, taking the next step forward, moving in together. It just makes me feel like you guys are ready to take on a new journey with someone or because of your family, you want to change something. It's a beautiful feeling that I have with it, honestly. So if that's the case, I think things are going <laughs> to work out for you, you all. I just want to say that because that's the first thing I see is like, holy cow, um, this is taking a journey in, into a new relationship or because of a relationship. So it's all about friends and family and relationships and loved ones and, and things like that. Your children possibly too with this page of swords up there above it. So maybe this is why you guys are wanting to take, um, do something different or uh, take on a new journey or, or move somewhere different because of your kids possibly. But you know that page of swords up there could be an actual child. It could be a younger energy. But it could also be a messenger bringing you in some sort of news or, um, you know, some sort of a message that may be coming in. And maybe that's why you guys are thinking about taking this new journey because of the of your finances. You guys could be getting paid more some in a different area, different location, different job maybe. Um, 
because this nine of pentacles is all about your finances looking up and and financial stability and feeling good about your finances and things like that so you guys may be wanting to go uh, where the money is maybe or where you can save more money possibly too and you know i do have another page down here so this could be about your family and your children and your relationships and things like that this particular page of wands is on the back side and they say that if it's on the back side it's talking about the inner self this is the outer self this is the inner self so good possibility with this page of wands this could be you guys wanting to expand you guys are wanting to do something different uh, creative uh, something that is fun and exciting and something that you're going to enjoy doing so you know look at this big old uh, flame right here right just makes me feel like that you guys are ready for um, a little dose of fun and a little dose of excitement but for some reason looking at it this way you might be pausing or hesitating or saying hold on a second let me think about all of this I've got to figure something out and it could be causing a little bit of uh, discomfort I want to say with this five of swords on the back side it's almost like there may have been arguments or disagreements at one time with someone. This could be someone at your work or your job or this could be uh, someone in your family. Um, so I'm not quite sure, but it's like it's almost like you guys are just turning around and, and saying, you know what, this is nonsense. I'm not going to deal with this right now. On the other side, it's kind of like, you know, the arguments are, are, are starting. And on this side, it's almost like the arguments have finished, is how I see it. So I just want to say, if there has been any kind of disagreements or arguing or anything to that extent, I don't think it's going to last much longer. I believe it's going to work itself out. I really do. Hold on just a minute. I want to say something real quick, you all. If you guys find yourself, maybe with this hangman too up here and then the hermit, if you find yourself um, not knowing what you should do or how you should handle certain situations, the Hermit is about going within and listening to your inner spirit, your inner light, and it will show you the way. You know, I'm a firm believer of prayer and meditation, so that it could go hand in hand with that. Sometimes you just need to sit in silence and listen, you know, listen to your own inner self. When you do that and you start going with your intuition and things like that, it doesn't steer you wrong, okay, you all? So just remember that. The Hermit is about you guys listening to yourself, basically. And I really do believe that you guys are kind of in this uh, hangman position for a second, not knowing if this is the right choice, if this is the right decision, um, not knowing exactly how to move forward in one way or another. But I think it's going to come to you, you all. I really do. And I, I believe... This has something to do with your your families, your loved ones, your relationships, could be your children. But all you want to do is make things better for you and them at the same time. All right, I'm going to take one real quick for this Five of Swords on the back side. I'm going to see what this is all about. So give me just a minute, okay? King of Wands, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Eight of Cups on the back side. It looks like you guys are contemplating on whether you should move forward or whether you should walk away from something or whether you should continue on on this journey. Hold on a second. You guys may be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There may be someone that's in your family and in this relationship possibly. Someone that's helping you out. Someone that's giving you advice. Someone that's offering you a financial gain, a, a job or something to that extent maybe too. And now, now I'm going to flip it around and say this could be your energy as well. So whenever I get the King of Wands, you know, it's all about being strong and courageous and confident, um, natural leader, very wise, um, 
very energetic, a, a real go-getter, really. So you guys may have this uh, stirring inside of you right now saying, you know what, let's do this. I know we're going to be great at it. I know we're going to be um, fantastic at, so, at something different. Um, you know, whenever I get the full card, I just want to say this, okay? Sometimes the full card can be something gigantic. Sometimes it can be like, okay, I'm going to move to a totally different location, go get another job, move my whole family down there, and I'm just going to do something completely different. So this, uh, this uh, full card can be absolutely moving somewhere different, going somewhere different, traveling, you know, um, taking a new journey in different ways. Sometimes, though, this is all about uh, feeling a little bit like you may not be as experienced in something that you're wanting to try. Sometimes it's something little and sometimes it's something quite big. Now maybe this is about a relationship or your family and you're not exactly sure should I take them to a different location, should we move into a different home, into a different apartment, you know, it can be something like that. But this could be something like you're just wanting to change something small in your life that puts you guys on a different path, in a, in, on a different, in a different direction. So every once in a while, this is something small, but it makes a big, big difference. Because I've realized that not everybody can just pick up and move somewhere and go somewhere and get a new job and do something like that. But I do feel like that sometimes it's the little things that make the biggest difference in the world. So maybe with this King of Wands right here, this could be your energy and you guys are feeling fiery and ready to go and more energetic because you're wanting something different, you're wanting something new. Now maybe on the other side, this could be uh, someone that is either related to you or handing you an option or an opportunity. Um, and then maybe this could be the person that's, um, that you guys have been arguing with as well. Because I do have here, you're going to have a peaceful resolution and communicate clearly. Maybe, you know, when it says peaceful resolution, it, uh, it's, maybe it's a little bit of arguments and things. But sometimes it's more like you guys may need to iron out details, right? Especially with both of these cards. So every once in a while, there's things that may pop up that just feels like, wait a minute, um, if somebody's wanting to hire you, for instance, you want to get all the details that you need, right? Or that you uh, feel like you need to know, basically. What's my hours? How many days? What's my pay? You know, those basic kinds of things that you're uh, looking to do. So sometimes this is something really simple that you guys just may need to dig into, research, make sure you get all the information you need. Sometimes this is something that may be going on that you guys may be having a little bit of a tiff, a disagreement, um, not wanting to uh, move in the same direction, but you guys can sit down and talk about it and the next thing you know you guys can agree on it, okay? So I just want to say that either way it goes, I feel like it's going to work out because um, you're going to iron out the details and you guys are going to be able to move forward in, in different ways. I'm going to take one real quick for that page of swords up there. Look at that, you all. Six of Wands. Hold on. Maybe you guys are getting a better job. Maybe you guys are about to get promoted or even open your own business. This could be a leadership role. This could be a leadership position. It's about achievement. It's about getting rewarded for something. It's about uh, getting acknowledged. It's victory. It's success. I mean, it's, it's, it's a beautiful card. So maybe you guys are getting an offer to go somewhere different, to move somewhere different, to travel, take on a new job possibly. That's beautiful. I'm going to stay there and I'm going to take one real quick for this page of wands. The strength card. And look at what I have on top. The chariot. On the front side. You're moving forward, you all. You're moving forward. Hold on a second. You know... 
With this Page of Wands on the back side, and you guys having fire and energy, possibly like this King of Wands, and you're raring to go, you're waiting, you're wanting, you're, you have extra strength, you seem like you're, you're getting more and more courageous, you're strategizing, you could be planning on something right now, you could be seeing things in a different way. This is about trusting and believing in yourself and pushing yourself forward if this is something that you really want. If it has something to do with a relationship, I think the two of you guys are going to be getting closer. If this has something to do with your family and your children and things like that, I believe you're, you're, um, you have the best interest of your whole family in your mind at this time and you guys are going to do something that's, that's the best for all of you guys. So either way it goes, I feel like you're going to have extra strength extra knowledge, um, determination, courage. It just keeps going with this strength card. It's almost like the things are just going to start falling into place if this is really something that you guys are wanting to do. Um, and I honestly think that if you just pray about it, you may get the answers that you're looking for. And for heaven's sakes, listen to your gut, listen to your instincts, listen to your intuition and your inner light, okay? It's guiding you, it's showing you, it's telling you things. Sometimes we ignore it. So, so usually we, uh, if we ignore it, we're, uh, we regret it, right? Um, so always listen to your gut and your instincts and your intuition, you all, because it won't steer you wrong. Hold on just a minute. Let me look at these. Let's take one real quick for that hermit. It flipped out, you all. Judgment. Fresh start. And I stopped there because the card flipped out, but look at what's on top. The sun card. Happy. The sun card's happy on both sides. There's not a bad side to the sun card. Hold on a second. Let me look at this. This is about feeling resur This is like resurrection, like feeling alive again, going from the dark and into the light, doing something that it's like a fresh start, a rebirth. A you know, this is all about things happening that's supposed to happen right now. You guys. This is a beautiful reading. I'm going to say that real quick. Absolutely beautiful. And if you guys are considering taking a leap of faith, doing something different, moving somewhere, going somewhere, um, could be about your family and your children and a new relationship. It might be uh, about getting a new job, opening a new business, going to different schools. I mean, it can go in many, many different directions here. Maybe it's something really small that makes a big difference in your life or in your family's life. But this is all about a fresh start in general. And this is about your success. And even if you have to hold on for just a minute so you can think about it and, 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 and figure out a strategy and figure out the right way to do it and the, your planning and things like that, it's going to work out in your favor. I'm telling you, this looks like it's absolutely beautiful. It could have something to do with this, your loved ones. It could have something to do with it. There's going to be a peaceful resolution. All you need to do is communicate clearly, and I think your finances may start looking up. I think your, uh, you may be getting promoted or become a successful leader or just feel successful because things are, are working out in your favor. It's kind of like things are kind of falling right into place, right? And it's going to make you guys really, really happy, honestly. This is a beautiful reading, Cancer. Honest to goodness, you all. Um, I'm going to stop there. I don't need to take any more, you guys. If there is something that you guys are wanting to change at this time, now may be the time to consider it. And honestly, communicate clearly, and things, I believe, are just going to start falling right into place for you guys, honestly. Beautiful reading. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this today. Um, this is a reading for cancer. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon.